Saved your mail for you, Luis. Looks like a lot of sympathy cards. He's wrong. Hey, Ryan, you know, I think I'll just answer these at home. If you can give me a box to put them in. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Whenever you and I are apart, just look at this rose and you'll know I'm thinking of you. You'll know that I haven't forgotten you. I haven't forgotten our love. My God, Sheridan's alive. Good morning, guys. Sam, she's alive. Sheridan's alive. What are you talking about? This rose. Sam, this is her way of telling me. I know it. Sheridan sent me this rose. Sheridan's alive. Be careful, Brian. Go easy. Careful about what? You know very well what. You're falling for the lovely, mysterious Diana. Like I could help myself. That is one beautiful woman out there. And what happens when her memory comes back? She could remember that she's in love with someone else. I'm hoping by the time she remembers her past, Whoever it was she was in love with won't matter to her anymore. Because she'll be so in love with me, she won't want to leave. Hey, Marie. All right. Hey, Ethan, I didn't get a chance to tell you I'm so sorry about Sheridan. She was a wonderful person. Thanks, Beth. Uh, she was a wonderful person. Uh, I'm going to miss her terribly. But you know, in a way, her, her death has given me courage to seize the day. You know, to learn to live life in every moment. That's what counts. That's what's important. I hope this means that you and Teresa are going to set a new wedding date. Well, uh, not only are we going to get married, but uh, we're going to be working together, too. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't want anything to keep Teresa and me apart. Have you totally lost it, Teresa? You're gonna ask Julian for the money? Yes. So Ethan can open his own law firm. But you can't ask Julian. But Whitney, I don't want to ask him. But Ethan needs startup money to open his own law firm. And I will do anything to make his dream come true. <laughs> yeah, but why, Julian? Because I'm his wife. You know, at least until he gets the annulment. When he has to support me. So I'll get the money from him, and I'll buy everything Ethan needs. Have you completely lost your mind? I always hated that vase. Mother, that was one of Ivy's family heirlooms. Oh, well, enough said. Let's see how many of her family heirlooms I can blow to smithereens. Uh, okay, Mother, <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you put the gun down? Oh, this is not a gun, Gwenny. This is a rifle. And it is powerful enough to bring down a rhino let alone a crane. <laughs> I know you're upset. I know you're angry that Julian is letting Ivy stay here until the divorce is final, but sh shooting up the place isn't going to solve anything. Well, maybe not, but it'll certainly give Julian a heads up. Let him know I mean business and that he better marry me because if he doesn't... Bang. God, stop her! <laughs> Don't do it, Pilar! Let go! If you ever go near Teresa again, I will poison you, I swear it! God, you heard her. Harper, she threatened me. It's not a threat, Julian. It's a promise. You will die in agony by my hand. I won't let my son or Ethan go to prison for killing you. I will do it myself! To be threatened in one's own home by one's own servant, no less. Well, it's an outrage. I won't stand for it. Harper, I want you to have Pilar arrested. That'd be very unwise, Julian. If you won't... Call the police, and I will. No, no, don't. How many PD, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald? Well, no one saved me from these damn Lopez Fitzgeralds. 
telling you, Sam, Sheridan is alive. Is alive. Sam, I'm telling you, Sheridan is alive. We've never really had a chance to sit down and talk about what went on down in Bermuda. The accident. It's okay. No, it isn't. Look, it's just I've got so many things going on in my life right now. That's no excuse. I should have been there for you no matter what. Sam, don't worry about it. You love Sheridan as much as any man could love a woman. Yeah. As much as I love Grace. And if I lost her, I don't know what I'd do, how I'd react. At least you have to accept the fact that Sheridan is gone. No. People don't come back from the dead. Sam, I know there's a death certificate. But that means nothing. Sam, this means everything. Sam, look. My father planted a rose bush for my mother next to Sheridan's cottage. And one day, I picked a rose for Sheridan. And Sheridan told me that whenever I looked at a rose, she would be thinking of me. Now, this rose just didn't happen to end up on my desk by accident. I know how hard you want to believe. No, Sam, She's you don't dead. understand. Sheridan is alive. She's alive and she's coming back to me. Look. She was beautiful. She is beautiful. Sheridan is beautiful. See that smile? I'm gonna see that smile again, just the way she's smiling right there. Have you told her? Does Diana know how you feel about her? That's just about the last thing she needs to hear right now. The woman has suffered a terrible trauma. She doesn't remember who she is. And right now, I'm just some guy to her. But later, down the line... And <laughs> what makes you think she'd fall for a lout like you? Because no woman can escape my charms. Charms? I have other words for it. Well, you can't blame a man for hoping, can you? What? That no one will ever come looking for her? Brian. If a man once loved her, what makes you think he would ever forget her? Because there's not been anything about her in the papers, and no one's come looking for her yet. Of course, I'll stay away from Teresa, even though she is my wife. You seduced my daughter, you filthy old man! Old? You took her virginity, forced her to marry you. Hell is too good for you, Julian. You get this marriage annulled! I've already told you, Harper's working on it. As I said, it will take some time. Today! I want it done today! Now that Ivy is contesting the divorce, not only is my daughter married to a pig, but a bigamist, too! Uh. Whoa. You stay away from me, you hellcat! Get out of this house right now! You're fired! You can't fire me! I work for Ivy, and as long as she stays, I stay! Time to send Julian a crystal clear message. If he doesn't marry me, he gets one right between the eyes. Mother? No. Well, I will be the next Mrs. Julian Crane, or so help me. That's the second time I've heard that sound. It sounded like a gunshot.
Father, please put the gun away before somebody gets hurt. And that someone will be Julian. If he even thinks you're dumping me. Teresa, you can't ask Julian for the money. If Ethan were ever to find out, he'd go ballistic. Well, that's why Ethan can never find out. You know, just how many secrets can you keep from the man that you say that you love? The man that you intend to marry? You know, this is just one more secret that's going to come crashing down on you, Teresa. Whitney, Julian has promised to get our marriage annulled, so there's no reason for Ethan to ever find out that we were married. So just because there's no reason doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Why are you being a downer like this? I thought I was being your friend. I'm, I'm sorry. I know that you're worried about me. But don't be. Teresa, I just want you to think logically about this. That's all. If you give Ethan money to open his own law firm, he's going to want to know where it came from. And what are you going to tell him? That the tooth fairy brought it? Look, I'll come up with something. You know, but right now, I need to concentrate on what I'm going to say to Julian. Teresa, your whole future is at stake here. Your life with Ethan. Don't do this. Don't ask Julian for that money. I have to, Whitney. Is everything all right, Diana? Yeah. I think I just had a memory about the past, but I'm not sure. It could have been another nightmare. Memory about what? Something to do with this rose bush. Well, I don't know much about flowers, but I would think that these rose bushes grow everywhere. Maybe you just remember it from another time, another place, and that's all there is to it. No. It's more than that. I can feel it. There's something about this rose bush. I'm telling you, Sheridan is alive. Louise. Sam, I don't know how she survived the explosion or the hurricane, but she did. My ma said to pray for a miracle, and I did, and God gave it to me. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument, she is still alive. Why hasn't she contacted you? Maybe, uh, maybe she got hurt. She can't call, she can't email, or anything. She's in the hospital when the doctor called. Well, what if she lost her voice and she can't get out of bed? Oh, come on, Louise. Come on, really Sam, you know as a cop we're not supposed to rule out anything. If she can't talk or move about, then who sent you the rose? Well, I haven't figured that out yet, but I know there's an explanation. Louise, look, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I just want you to face reality. Look, in the long run, dreaming and hoping for things that just can't be will only make it harder. Yeah, well, miracles you. change reality and they make things happen. Who sent you the rose anyway? It was with a bunch of sympathy cards that Ryan gave me. Ryan! Yeah, did you see who brought in this flower? Well, uh, it's the first I've seen it. I don't have any idea how it got here. Look, would everyone stop being so damn logical? Just throw logic out the window. Sam, I'm telling you, this rose is a sign. Sheridan is coming back to me. She's thinking about me. She's thinking about me right now. It'll be like the old days when uh, young lawyers used to hang out their shingles. Ethan Winthrop, attorney at law. Ah, Ethan Winthrop, attorney at law. <laughs> Sounds great, dude. <laughs> Um, Ethan, look, I don't want to be negative, okay, but I know something about starting a business. You need capital. Yeah, big bucks, man. I mean, when I opened the cafe, I had to get backing from the cranes, and that's why they were able to take it away from me when I got behind on my debts. Now they own it. Yeah, well, I don't really think I need to worry about them giving me a dime. And honestly, I don't want them to. You know, I don't want to be beholden to the cranes for anything. Damn right. I, I want Teresa and I to do this together with the help of our friends and family. Hey, well, count this friend in. Yeah, me too. Anything that we can do, we want to help you and Teresa. I think I'll take you up on that, Beth. Um, is there anyone you could put me in touch with uh, who sells secondhand law books? I mean, I know I don't have my law office ready yet, but I want to start getting a law library together. Boy, did you get the right number. 
I've got stacks and stacks of old law books in the basement. <laughs> a friend of mine asked me to sell them, and I just never had room to bring them up here. Well, <sighs> how much for all of them? Um, I don't know. We'll work out something. Just take them, and you can pay me a little each month, okay? This is fantastic. Everything is falling into place. You know, Teresa would say this is fate. And maybe she'd be right. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, she's right about everything. Sounds like you guys have a wonderful relationship. That's perfect. We love each other. We're best friends. Tell each other everything. We have no secrets. This has got to be the craziest idea you have ever had, Teresa. No, no, no. No, wait. The craziest idea was thinking that you could go down to Bermuda and try to convince Julian to take Ethan back into the family. No! No, you know what? I'm wrong again. The absolute craziest idea was drinking champagne with Julian, giving him an opportunity to seduce you. Whitney, don't worry. When I ask Julian for the money, I will be stone cold sober. I will simply ask him for the money that I am entitled to as his wife. Oh. And what if he tells you to simply just get lost? He won't. Whitney, he can't. I did him a favor by not telling Ethan and Luis that we were married. See, they would have killed him. But I kept quiet. And for that, he owes me. Ugh. Dream on, Teresa. Whitney, it's only fair. Since one of the cranes ever played fair. Look. This is no big deal. I won't have to spend a lot of time with Julian. I'll tell him what I need, I'll take the money, and I'll leave. Leave where, Teresa? Where are you exactly planning on meeting Julian? The mansion. Where else? Mother, no! What on earth? Rebecca! Julian, I was just thinking about you. Uh, were you my dove? Yes, I was just thinking that if you don't marry me soon, oh, I'm going to be so unhappy. And when I'm unhappy, I... I take drastic measures. We, we've already been through this, my pet. We, we can't get married until I, I straighten this divorce out. And the annulment comes through. I know that something is going on behind the scenes, Julian. And it has to do with you allowing Ivy to stay here. And Pilar being so angry with you that she actually attacked you. So I know something is going on. I just want to know what it is. Oh, no, Becky. It's, it's nothing. Don't lie to me, Julian. I, I'm, I'm not. There's nothing going on. It's just your imagination. Julian, I can sense it and I can smell it. And if you don't want to tell me what it is, I know an excellent way to force a confession out of you. I know you're going through a hard time, but I have to remind you what you told me. That Sheridan's dental records, as well as her fingerprints, were compared with the ones from the body found at sea. They were a match. It was conclusive. That was Sheridan's body. That's why you had her cremated. Dead people don't send flowers. All right, Sam. If you want to talk logic, let's talk logic. Maybe they sent the wrong dental records and the wrong fingerprints. Louise, you don't really Sam, believe. crazier things have happened. Maybe they cremated the wrong body. Louise. Look, all I know is that Sheridan is alive. And she's out there somewhere, and I'm going to find her. I can only remember a piece of the dream. So was this rosebush in your dream? No, that's just it. That there was no flower, no bush, nothing like that at all. But for some reason, seeing this rose bush brought it back. Brought what back? A car crash. I remember crashing into a police car, seeing an officer. So who was the officer? I don't know. Did he arrest you? I, I can't remember any of the details. I. I I don't even know who the officer was. I, I couldn't see his face. So what you're saying is that this rose bush brought back the memory of a car crash. I know it sounds crazy. Maybe, 
Maybe you brought the officer roses after you crashed into his car, you know, to apologize. I don't know. I just, I feel like I am so close to remembering it. Yet so far. Rebecca. Mother. We don't want any accidents. Oh, and this particular accident would be messy. Very messy. Put the gun down. Oh, not until I get the truth out of Big Julian here. You see, he's been acting very strange, and not just here, but in Bermuda. I, what on earth are you talking about? Teresa, those little whispering sessions. Teresa? I, oh, well, she was distraught over Sheridan's death, and I, I was merely trying to comfort her. And now you're merely lying, trying to weasel out of marrying me. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong, my pet. Hmm. I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. In fact, Harper here has been working day and night on the divorce. Isn't that right, Harper? I've been working very hard trying to clear Julian from all of his obligations. Yes, and once that happens, then you and I will wed. You swear? Oh, yes, I do. You're my solemn word. girl. <laughs> Violence isn't the answer to anything. <laughs> Funny. You didn't mind violence when you had Sheridan killed. Just keep your voice down. Julian, either you're going to marry me or I'm going to tell everyone that you ordered the murder of your sister. And by the way, I'd stay away from Teresa if I were you. Otherwise, my suspicions... Will grow. I have to do this, okay? There's no other way. Nothing I'm going to say is even going to matter. You know, you're going to do whatever you want to do. But um, I think if you go to that mansion, you're completely nuts. Whitney, nothing will happen. What if Rebecca Hotchkiss is there? What if she sees you? And what if she does? Do you remember Bermuda? how suspicious she was whenever she saw you and Julian talking? If you go there to see Julian, she's gonna know that something's up. Look, she's not gonna see me. Okay, I know the mansion inside and out from when I was working there. I'll sneak in, Julian will be working in the library, I'll get the money from him and be out of there before anyone knows it. It's a piece of cake, right? If Ethan asks where I went, will you just tell him I went shopping? And that's not a lie, Whitney. I'm shopping for money. You are making the biggest mistake of your life. Whitney, what's going on? Don't push it, Diana. Remember what Doc said, forcing the issue will only make it worse. The memory will come back when it's supposed to come back. But what if it doesn't? What if I never remember who I am? <sighs> then that would be rough. But it wouldn't be the end of the world. You'll build a new life. I'll help you. And we'll all help you. And who knows, maybe it'll be better than the last one. But I want to remember my life. I want to remember who I am. <sighs> Why don't you come inside? I'll make you some tea. It'll relax you. Why are you being so nice to me? You know, what if this memory or, or dream or whatever it is, is real? I mean, what if I really did something horrible and crashed into a police car? But what if the officer comes looking for me? Will I give you up? Is that what you're asking? I don't think that you did anything horrible, Diana. There's no way. So if some cop comes looking for you, <laughs> I'm not going to give you up. You're safe with me. Now come on, it's tea time. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Let's just say you're not acting like yourself. 
Luis I know is very logical. Doesn't let his emotions interfere with his judgment. And you're right. If I was in your shoes, I would say, hey, you know what? This guy is losing it, but I'm not. I want to prove to you that Sheridan's alive. I'm going to find her. Who are you calling? Reserve Army Captain down in Bermuda. Bermuda Police. Captain, this is Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Do you remember me? Of course. You're the man whose fiance died in the hurricane. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Look, I'll get right to the point. I need you to reopen this search for Sheridan Grain. What on earth are you talking about? You, you identified her body, had her cremated. How, how could she possibly be alive? Well, we made a mistake. We, we identified the wrong body. We cremated the wrong woman. So listen, I need you to reopen the search. I need you to check all the outlying islands, the hospitals, the doctors. I assume you have some hard evidence that Sheridan Crane is still alive. Yes, a flower. A flower? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. You're right, I wouldn't. Look, on the basis of what you just told me, reopening the searches is pretty much out of the question. You listen to me, I need your help. Well, Whitney, when we came in, you were shouting something about Teresa making a mistake? Well, wh what's going on? Where'd she go? Uh, she went shopping. I was hoping she wouldn't make a big mistake and buy this pair of shoes that she's been wanting. I mean, <laughs> they're way too dressy. You know, you know, Teresa, she'd probably end up wearing them once and throwing them out. <sighs> so what's all this stuff? Oh, uh, law books uh, Beth had stashed away in the basement of the book cafe. And we got a ton more in the car. For the law office you want to open, that's so great. Yeah, I can't tell you how excited I am. You know, just thinking about working with Teresa someday, you know, starting out our lives from scratch. <sighs> you know... <sighs> The cranes threw me out of the family. I had no idea how I was going to get on in the world. But with Teresa's love, there's nothing we can't do together. It just feels good. It feels right to be starting out on our own without the crane money. But of course, I'll stay away from Teresa. That goes without saying. In fact, if you ever see me with her again, you have my permission to shoot me. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to uh, go to the library. I have a few details to take care of so that we can get married as soon as possible. I have my own details to take care of. Um, Pilar, I need a houseman. Where's Waldo? Probably bringing in another trunk. A trunk? What, what, you, what trunk? Waldo, take that trunk upstairs to Mr. Crane's bedroom along with the others. Why should he take that... To my bedroom. That isn't my trunk. It's mine. I just don't tell me you're moving in. Well, I am going to be the next Mrs. Julian Crane, aren't I? Oh, yes. Yes, well, I just thought it might be better if you waited until Ivy moved out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Julian, mm. this is my turf now. And I intend to defend it. Captain, this is Sam Bennett, Chief of Police here in Harmony. I know what you must be thinking, and uh, I have to admit I find his request a little strange myself. But as a personal favor to Harmony PD, could you do it anyway? I mean, chances are slim to none you'll come up with anything, but Luis is a great cop, an even better man, and I think we owe him that slim chance. Fax me the picture. I'll send it out. Thanks, Captain. Oh, you won. Fax the picture. Thank you, Sam. Diana had a memory about crashing into a police car? Yeah, she says she doesn't know who the cop was or why she crashed. So it could just be part of a dream. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the rose? I don't know. 
But whatever the connection, the crash itself seems to have been important, it, as if it were a major event in my life. But you have no idea who the policeman was? No. Could you excuse us for a minute? Do you realize that this memory could be the one that unlocks her past? Well, if it makes Diana happy to get her memory back, I'm all for it, Liz. And if the policeman she crashed into is a man that she's in love with? Well, I'll just have to cross that bridge when I come to it, won't I? Listen to me, I'm carrying on like I'm gonna open up the law office right away. And I need to get a job first so we can, you know, have money to install computers and telephones, buy some desks. It takes a lot of planning, dude. Yeah. Well, Teresa's gonna get a job too, and once we get enough money to get all the things we need, you know, Pilar's gonna let us use the living room as an office. That's gonna save us a ton in rent. God, you know, Teresa and I are gonna work great together because we just, we, we balance each other out. You know, I need more loosening up and she needs a little reining in. <laughs> You're so right, Ethan. You know, I really should get get going. Let's see you later. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too, man. I uh, gotta get back to work, so I'll see you guys later. All right. Hello? Oh, hey, Helga. Yes, uh, tell my mother I'm on my way. Look, I couldn't help noticing that you were as nervous in there as you were the whole time we were in Bermuda. And it's that secret of Teresa's you've been keeping, am I right? Chad, it's not even just that secret. I mean, Teresa is up to her eyeballs in secrets. <sighs> oh, you should be sacked for the way you banged my trunks around. Oh, Mother. If you do not get this marriage annulled, I will tell Rebecca everything, and I will shout for joy when she shoots you dead. You've made a fine mess of everything, Julian. There's no need to remind me. <clears throat> it's bad enough you arranged the killing of your sister. Now you have Ivy upstairs in a wheelchair contesting the divorce. And let's not forget... Rebecca moving in, threatening to turn your head into a clay pigeon. And let's not forget the other people that would love to see you dead. Pilar, Luis, Ethan, Eve... If Alistair finds out about this, he'll kill you, too. Hell, if you had a dog, he'd bite you. Just get the annulment ASAP. The papers are being faxed over even as we speak. And stay away from Teresa. A Pilar will murder you if you get within three feet of the girl. And Rebecca will burn my corpse. Tell me the only safe place in this entire house is the library. Get to work. You really went out on a limb for me, Sam, and I appreciate that. You have to accept. Odds of finding her are maybe one in a million. Look, I don't care what the odds are. This flower's gonna bring her back to me. Whoa, wait a minute. Where are you going? You haven't had your tea yet. I'm gonna go take another look at the roses. Would you mind if I snipped one off the bush? Oh, snip them all. Roses grow wild around here. Thank you. Maybe if I carry one with me, it'll, it'll help trigger my memory. Hello? This is uh, police headquarters. Calling to tell you we'll be sending out an emergency fax to all the islands. Sounds important. Yeah, she'll receive it shortly. You know, I, I can't even believe the messes Teresa gets herself into. You know what? It's probably better I don't know what's going on and what she's up to. Because that way I won't be in a position to have to tell Ethan anything. Hey. 
Whitney, you're shaking. I'm all right. Whitney, look, I'm worried about you, all right? I mean, these secrets of Teresa's got you acting like a nervous wreck. It's just that Teresa thinks that whatever she does, it's all going to turn out okay. But it's really going to blow up in her face this time, Chad. Well, whatever she's up to this time, I hope it doesn't involve Julian Crane. Because the way Luis and Ethan were going to tear into that dude when they thought that he'd hurt her, what I'm saying is there's no telling what they'd do if they caught him with her. Waldo, bring my bags in from the car, please. Yes, ma'am. Gwen? Um, listen, I'm so sorry about what happened last night about our mother's fighting. Oh, well, it was all Ivy's fault. I mean, what with her contesting the divorce and insisting on staying here. You know, this is still her home, Rebecca. And I'll do everything in my power to protect her. Is that why you're here, to talk to her? Uh, yes, but uh, I want to talk to Julian first. Is he here? Oh, uh, he's in the library. Thank you. They're all out to kill me. Pilar with poison. Rebecca with a rifle. Eve wants to geld me. Ethan and Louise. To tear me to shreds. I'm going to make a resolution. In order to stay alive, I will never see Teresa again. Mr. Crane. 